Yo, 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 what is going on, everyone? It is your boy Kuzco, and I am bringing you another Destiny 2 build video here today. And the build of choice this time is the Void Warlock combined with second filaments. And starting off, if you don't know what the filaments exotic leg piece actually does, the exotic armor perk states casting an empowering rift will grant you devour, and also damage dealt by you and your allies from within your empowering rift will disrupt combatants. Now, honestly, the main reason you will be using this is for the devour proc you will not have to get a grenade kill to get your devour so that is the main reason why we will be using it you do not necessarily notice the disruption a little bit of disruption to the combatants is happening but i was expecting it more to be kind of like a blinding or at least like a stun however on red bar enemies you will notice a little bit of disruption now we can move straight into the void walker subclass honestly your super ability does not really matter you can use vortex you can use cataclysm or you can use nova warp i honestly just like to use vortex because it does a little bit more damage especially if you are in solo content there are more ads spawning and your vortex is right there they are just going to get deleted immediately on top of that on our abilities of course we need empowering rift and then i find vortex grenade to be the best for actually getting a kill for you so if you do not have your rift and somehow you run out of devour i don't know how you would run out of devour because its timer is insane especially when you stack kills on top of each other and then you just keep that timer maxed out at all times however vortex grenade will do the trick for you and if we combine vortex grenade with a couple of things in our fragment slots we will need this to get volatile rounds. Just make sure that you are using a grenade that you are comfortable with and you know will get you a kill. And Vortex Grenade is just what I found to be the best. And into our aspects, we are running Feed the Void and Child of the Old Gods. Now, Child of the Old Gods is just going to give us that beneficial seeker when while we are running our empowering rift, it is gonna grant us healing while it is eating away at those enemies. And also, if we defeat a target who is being drained by our void soul it will also grant us class ability energy while feed the void is just going to keep our devourer active if we get void ability kills and in our fragment slot we have echo of expulsion echo of remnants echo of persistence and echo of domineering starting off with echo of expulsion void ability final blows cause targets to explode and this also gives us a plus 10 to intellect we are not really looking to use our super a lot in this build it is mainly abilities however that plus 10 in intellect is just good to have with echo of remnants this is going to give our void grenade a little bit longer of a duration to ensure that we get a kill with it to activate our volatile rounds while Echo of Persistence is going to increase our Devour effects and increase the duration as well. So we are basically always going to have our Grenade and we will always heal off of kills because our Devour will basically never disappear. And you also get that increased Grenade regeneration every time you get a kill while you have Devour active and resetting your health every single time. And last but not least, we have Echo of Domineering. After suppressing a target, you gain greatly increased increase mobility for a short duration and your equipped weapon is reloaded from reserves. I only use this for tractor cannon because you will never have to reload your tractor cannon if you are using this. Just because of the exotic perk on the tractor cannon where you suppress an enemy while using this so technically with this you will never have to reload your tractor cannon and on top of this it is giving us 10 discipline so we want our discipline to be as high as it possibly can along with our recovery so that we can have our rift ability and we can have our grenade ability at basically all times and now that we've been over the subclass i wanted to make sure that i go over a couple of weapons that i did try out for this build and what weapons actually work for this build first off if you are in solo content use the tractor cannon man just use the goddamn tractor cannon it is insane how much this can carry you along with devour and all of your abilities active and if you are running a tractor cannon i would recommend a close range shotgun with trench barrel so that you can get that increased damage off of your next three shots after a melee or if you did not want to go the tractor cannon route but you still wanted to be in enemies faces another weapon that is very very good use ruinous effigy this thing is disgusting along with volatile rounds I love blocking with the void breach in my hand and just watching everything explode with the volatile rounds because yes, it counts 
with everything you do with this weapon and when you pick up that void breach that void breach also has volatile rounds so if you are swinging at somebody you will be creating those volatile explosions if you slam it it will create a volatile explosion if you block with it if they are in your bubble for long enough they will turn volatile and explode. It is just all around a very fun weapon to use and I do recommend you try it out if you do use this build. Also primaries, you could use whatever you want. If you need to stun unstoppables, you could go ahead just put on a chill clip fusion rifle or just put on any scout rifle. I mean, since this is a void subclass, you're not gonna have that easy way of stunning an unstoppable champion. But my favorite way to do it is honestly with just a chill clip. You just freeze them and then you can go and you can use your tractor cannon shotgun, finish them off very, very quickly. But if you are just running through normal ads, just put on a submachine gun, something that has infinite ammo, whatever you want, and you're gonna have a great time no matter what. Since we've been over weapon synergy, I, I need to make sure that I go over the mods as well because these are a very huge part to the build. Now, first off on our helmet, of course, we just need two things and that is orbs and heavy ammo because we are going to be using our heavy a lot so use one heavy ammo finder and i'd recommend putting on two void siphons that way whenever you are getting multiple void weapon final blows you will generate those orbs as for our gauntlets just throw a kickstart on there and double impact inductions so that we can always have our grenade back just because our grenade is a big source of damage especially if we just have one after the other after the other and then here is where it is your choice really honestly all you need is charged up i would recommend putting on void reserves but you could put on any resistance mods or whatever else you would like i just like running double void reserves to use my weapons to their full extent just make sure that you have charged up to increase that armor charge by one and this goes the same for your legs just make sure that you have stacks on stacks that way picking up an orb of power grants you an additional stack of armor charge and if you really need it recuperation replenishes health each time you pick up an orb of power if you don't need this go ahead throw on your void weapon surges and go crazy as for your bond just make sure you have reaper along with distribution. That way when you have distribution, it reduces all your ability cooldowns when you use your class ability near targets, since we are always using our class abilities near targets. And then Reaper, after using your class ability, your next weapon final blow spawns an orb of power. So we will always have these orbs dropping. We will always have armor charge and we will always have devour. And that is the main thing about this build that I love. If you wanted to copy and paste the actual loadout, I can have it on screen right now as well on my armor mods are all right here and also if you wanted to see my weapons that i was using in the video i have a well-rounded trench barrel basso make sure that if you have one of these you keep them because this is not one of the craftable weapons and of course a submission with subsistence frenzy along with a tractor cannon or the exotic of your choosing i would recommend ruinous effigy if you are not running tractor cannon or even leviathan's breath as well that is basically it for the build you guys i hope you all enjoyed and if this video did help you out be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it really does help me out. And as always, before I get out of here, be sure to appreciate everything and everyone around you. I hope you all have a great day. I love you all and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. Oh my god, dude, you're, you're cheating so fucking hard.